Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs. And in today's video, we are going to create this YouTube logo reveal animation inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. So, if you are new to this channel, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, we are going to call it as Main Animation and width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 20 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply fit on Titles section. Then I'm going to bring my YouTube logo which is in the PNG format over here like this and then after that we are going to create one ellipse and we don't want any stroke so we will delete this stroke and we are going to choose uh, with the help of the speaker i'll pick up this red color of this youtube logo and i'll simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse over here now select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this now let's minimize this and select this and hit ctrl d and go to the fill option with the help of this picker we will pick up this color and hit ok like this now let's hide this logo select both of these layers and press p for position create one keyframe then go to around 1.15 frames create another keyframe and go to the start let's select this layer press v for selection tool and we will move this layer over here then we will select uh, this ellipse and we will move this over here okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and hit f9 go to the graph editor right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph simply select this graph by holding shift we will move this handle over here select this and we will move this handle over here so if you see we will get this kind of collision in between this over here like this now let's go to the last keyframe select any of this uh, thing and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and hit u and we will delete uh, those keyframes we don't want that then uh, when these things are going to collide uh, i want let's hit page down button uh, page up button to go one frame backward and we will select this one and we will move this over here okay with the help of open square bracket now press s for scaling option and let's make the scale zero and create one keyframe go few frame forward and let's increase the size of this ellipse like this okay and uh, let's go to the start and uh, we will select this ellipse over here and uh, we are going to choose that red color of this logo over here so i'll go to the start and with the help of this fill uh, i'm going to pick up this color and hit ok like this okay now select this shape layer let's increase the size of this ellipse a little bit select this hit ctrl d press s and let's decrease this size over here and we are going to choose white color because this is going to be my mask of the my image so i'll select this layer hit enter and let's call it as mask and hit ok select this second layer which is this red one and hit enter and let's call it as bg hit ok like this okay so if you see we will get something like this then at this point select both of these layers hit u select those keyframes and let's hit f9 like this go to the graph editor select this graph move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so we will get something like this now uh, this mask should animate a little bit later so i'll move this a little bit over here or you can simply uh, let's simply move this over here and we will select this last keyframe and we will move this a little bit backward somewhere around over here so it will act uh, uh, like uh, this is animating a little bit later okay so if you see uh, now we have this and this structure over here like this along with that we need some extra elements over here so for that i'm going to pick up my ellipse tool i don't want any fill so let's simply delete and with for the stroke with the help of this fill pickup i'll pick up this color like this and let's create one ellipse select this press ctrl alt home and change the stroke width a little bit to let's say 14 select this hit ctrl d and let's move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here hit ctrl d move this over here 
and you can select this and you can change the size of them like this and like this okay along with the size you can also add change the stroke width like this select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here and try to adjust the size hit ctrl d and try to adjust the size over here so this is basically for ellipse but uh, also i want some triangles so i'll go to the star options over here i'll create one star go to the poly star uh, go to the poly star path and we will decrease the points select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press s and let's decrease the size of it hit w and let's try to rotate it and we will move this over here let's disable the snipping option select this hit ctrl alt home and let's increase the stroke to 12 pixels or you can also increase somewhere around like this select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here <coughs> and let's adjust the size hit ctrl d move this over here hit w adjust the rotation select this hit ctrl d duplicate hit w rotate it uh, adjust the scale hit ctrl d let's move this over here increase the size and let's in decrease the stroke width also like this now go to the start uh, somewhere around over here select all of them let's move them over here press p for position okay so i'll go somewhere around over here i'll select all of these things i'll press p for position create one keyframe over here so let's select all of them and create one keyframe over here go few frame forward create another keyframe go to the start and select make sure that all of them are selected go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically so it will automatically come properly at the center like this then go to the start press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's rotate it like this also press s create one keyframe over here hit u go over here create another keyframe go to the start and let's make the scale zero so we will get something like this now select all of these keyframes and we will hit f9 let's go to the graph editor uh, zoom in a little bit uh, let's select this by holding shift move one handle over here select this and move one handle over here so we will get something like this okay now we will get this kind of structure now uh, along with that we need one reversal animation so hit u make sure to hit u so we can see all the keyframes now if you see over here we will get this kind of stuff and first of all we will try to create the reversal of this mask so i'll select this mask over here let's go to around four seconds and let's create one keyframe and go somewhere around over here and let's make this mask value zero select those keyframes and hit f9 uh, to easy ease those keyframes then i'm going to select this bg let's create one keyframe over here go over here and let's make this zero select this keyframes and also hit f9 but this time i'm going to select this uh, bg and i'll move this keyframe a little bit forward so we will get something like this okay we will also adjust the graph editor of all of them uh, together but right now only type uh, keyframes and don't forget to hit f9 then along with that select all of these elements and create one keyframe on each position scale and rotation property and go over here and let's make this all uh, values let's say um, select all of them and go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically again like this and make the scale zero and also change the rotation value somewhere around over here so we will get something like this okay now again select all of this uh, extra keyframes and we will hit f9 to remove their easy ease out or graph movements so if you see now we will get this animation over here and then we will get something like this so after that go to the graph editor and now we will select this graph zoom in a little bit let's move uh, one handle over here like this stretch it select those graph again 
and uh, we will select this graph and we will move this over here so we will get this uh, reverse animation but if you see over here uh, uh, we are getting some weird stuff for this uh, so because uh, let's select this mask over here let's see what is mistake yeah we have to move this a little bit over here like this and let's move this over here maybe i think we should move this over here only like this okay so let's go over here and uh, we have to remove this extra ellipse which are uh, standing at the last so we, i'll hold alt close bracket to move them over here okay so we will get something like this and if you want this animation little bit faster simply select those last keyframe and let's try to move this up to one second only so we will get that animation a little bit faster okay but uh, we will get this and now uh, if you see these elements they are po popping up uh, like uh, you know, all at once so we don't want that so i'll go to the start i'll select all of them and i'll hit page down button one time and hold alt close bracket right click go to the keyframe assistance sequence layers and simply hit ok zoom in a little bit and let's move this from here to here so if you see this now they will come something like this and also they will go randomly along with that we also have to add one thing if you see over the start this is uh, quite normal so what we can do i can see like this i'll press t for opacity let's create one keyframe hit page down button two times let's make this opacity 20 hit page down button one time select this uh, first keyframe hit ctrl c ctrl v select those keyframe and hit f9 alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on it like this so we'll get something like this also select those keyframe hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v so we will get something like this okay now i am going to bring my image over here you can choose whatever image you want and bring this after this mask over here okay let's adjust the scale of this image and i'm going to choose alpha mask for this and let's move this over here and now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to apply tint effect on it like this and uh, instead of white color you can choose red color over here like this you can either swap this color also so you will get something like this then you can select this image and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's bring this at the backward and let's delete this alpha mask press s for scaling option and scale it like this press t for opacity and let's make this opacity 10 or let's say 20 and we will delete this tint we don't need that over here like this okay i select this uh, mask image over here uh, and change uh, apply one effect known as wiggle position effect so we'll get that wiggle animation for this image over here like this and select this mask hit ctrl d to duplicate it enable this mask and we are going to delete this fill we don't need that and we are going to add white color for the stroke <coughs> sorry and choose 0.5 okay so we will get something like this also i'm going to select this uh, last image let's press p let's move this over here create one keyframe go somewhere around nine seconds and let's move this from here to here like this okay so we will get something like this now select all of these extra elements and apply wiggle position effect on them also so we will get something like this and now uh, we will bring our logo let's bring this logo at the top or you can bring this at the bottom also uh, but uh, we need to make this appear at this point so i'll move this over here like this 
and when this is going to be a very zero so at this time i'm going to select my ellipse tool and show color i'm going to choose this color over here hit ok and choose 10 pixels and let's create one ellipse press ctrl alt home go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically uh, and select this press s let's make this value zero create go over here create one keyframe also in search option type stroke create another keyframe and hit u and let's increase the scale somewhere around like this and decrease the stroke go to the stock and, and let's make the stroke 100 so we'll get something like this select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor and move this over here and this over here so if you see now we will get this and then we will get this now over here what we need to do simply right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null select this null press r for rotation uh, let's uh, at this point i'll create one keyframe go over here and at this point i'll move this over here okay so we will get this kind of rotation also if you want then you can select this background image and you can rotate it also like this so this is totally up to you like this and you can select this last keyframe and hit f and also like this and then hit f so yep this is how you can create this kind of logo reveal you can go to the start press s let's make this 120 create one keyframe hit u go to the last and let's make this 100 so along with this animation you will get this scaling animation also and press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this background right backwards